Yo! What is up, y'all? How are you guys doing today? It is a freaking beautiful day out here in the state of Delaware. Between a bunch of like thundery, rainy type days, nice, sunny, calm breeze. We got the Arnold Palmer out here. I used to be addicted to these things way back in the day. Found my true love yet again. Today we're gonna be doing something that I have not done for a long time. It's actually something I've never done here or really anywhere like here. Let's get it deeper into the woods, man. Let's, let's tell you guys what's going on. Creeper first day coming out. God, follow me into the dark woods. Come on, come on. Oh my gosh. All right, so I've only been on this trail one time ever. Um, so you guys kind of got to keep track with me where I'm going. I don't try, I'm trying to get lost out here. No, on my luck, I'd stumble across like a Hansel and Gretel free fishing lord, little weird shack. Look at this. The storms in Delaware have been pretty serious. Either that or Bigfoot already chopped that tree up there and all these trees. Actually, they're pretty clean cut. It's probably Bigfoot's firewood. All right, we are now taking the smaller path. I'm very interested to see what this water looks like. We've had a lot, a lot of rain. Hopefully the CFS is not too crazy. It's not too Willy Wonka-like. All right, so here's kind of the, the lay down. We found the river slash creek. It's looking not too bad right there, but as you go out further, um, if y'all can see that, it is milky. Very chocolate. Not gonna lie, man, for us, this is kind of a good thing. So I'd say maybe about a week and a half ago, Kelsey and I took camper along these trails. You know, just like a nice little trail date. So we actually came uh, right here. I actually, I'll look at my phone. I marked it on Google Maps. There were some fish, right? Big freaking fish. <sighs> this could get very interesting very fast. So I didn't really come prepared with the most heaviest gear and I don't know exactly which way I could get down if we do hook one of these fish. But the main goal first is to actually hook one of these fish. What I'm talking about is a big freaking carp. I think they were common carp. I saw one that might have been like a cool different variation of some kind of carp. I don't know. We're talking big, big. There were a ton literally right out there. Maybe like 20, 30. When's the last time we went carp fishing? It's been freaking forever since we were on the RV, I think in Texas. I was like kind of trying to target carp. But I mean, before that, way back last winter is when we were targeting carp really. Goal kind of for today, try to find these fish. Maybe get one up, hopefully. And if we can, maybe do a little catch and cook out here. You, me, the cicadas, the trees. <laughs> I think we have a good shot. Let me show you all what we brought out here. Number one carp bait in our, our store right here. Whole kernel sweet corn. Now this isn't the Walmart one. We've had a lot of success on the Walmart one. This is a, I think name brand, a little bit more expensive. non bapa lining. I'm sure the carp will appreciate that. Ah, big freaking ant. <laughs> About to catch and cook you. That is an ultralight rod. With six pound fluoro, uh, we'll see what happens. I gotta admit, this is like fancy can opener, man. If someone wants to rob me out here, they're not gonna take anything. They're gonna, they're gonna take this freaking can opener. Oh, pour one out for the carp fishing gods. Let's get some scent going in there. Oh yeah. Try to get it, baby. Now, if there's one thing about carp fishing that I will say is that it is like an art. There are so many different ways to do it and some are super in depth. Today we're just going very, very, very simple. I've had success on this in the past. All we're doing, man, we have, as I said, the six pound fluoro. I just put another split shot on here. And then down here to a tiny little, I think that's a size 12 hook. I don't even know. That thing's like a micro one. Oh, that breeze. It feels so good, dude. Oh my gosh. And two. Boom. We could put a three. I think two. Two's probably fine, so. Real quick before we throw that in, get a little handful of that good, good. And yeah, yeah. These things, they were all over the place. Now, don't get me wrong, this is a river slash creek. I don't really know if it's a river or creek, but this thing has current. This thing, obviously, has been storming. Lots of stuff moves, things change. These fish could not be here anymore at all. I would not know because I can't freaking see down there. We're just gonna chuck that right where I threw the other stuff. Oh, I'm in a spider web. There we go. So right around our chum. Hopefully that s s second split shot can keep us down there. I'm telling you, man, we might get yoinked in the water if one of those freaking giants hit that. <sighs> All right. Oh my God. Wait, is that a stick? I don't know what I just saw there. All right, yeah, we're getting dragged a little bit here, but I think I'm gonna put this down on the backpack, loosen the crap out of the drag. Let's just see if anything's hungry. <sighs> All right, now we wait. Just that feeling, you know, right when you put a bait on the water, like it just feels like we're about to get demolished. Leave that out for a little bit. 
Maybe cast it out further. I don't know. We'll see what happens, man. All right. Well, the carb mission was not exactly successful. We're back out here again today at another creek. And today we're going to be eating whatever we catch. I would have eaten a carp. I don't know. I don't think carp are like the best eating fish, but I would, I would try it. Let me know if you guys want to see that in like a future video. But today we're going to be fishing with uh, some lures that another YouTuber sent us. So let's get over here to the water and see what's going on, man. All right. So we got our camp slash cooking stuff with us. Chef First State is going to make a uh, comeback here today, man. Oh, that water's actually looking. Wow. It's been raining. But that's, oh my gosh, that is so beautiful. This is gonna be good, okay. I've never really been able to see the bottom all the way out there. Oh, dude. Okay, this thing has some freaking fish in it. But Chef First State, as I was saying, it needs some redemption, man. If you guys saw my uh, most recent creek catch and cook video, which by the way, you guys have been saying you love the creek fishing stuff, and I freaking love that because I love this creek fishing stuff, man. It's like kind of what got me into fishing, and this kind of stuff is so fun to me, but in that video, I was a little rusty. Ooh, that's a big fat boy right there. Oh, there's a bass right there too. All right, we're gonna get down here. <laughs> oh, this is so much fun, man. I kind of took a break though from the catch and cook game for a little while, especially like catch and cook on the spot. Hello? I said it before though, you guys know, man. It, it's just, there's something about catching a fish, catching food and cooking it up right when you catch it. It's just like cool. Let me get down right here. Let me show you guys what we're using, man, because this is actually really cool, too. Yeah. So, let me just pull these out right here. So, if you guys know my buddy Extreme Philly Fishing, uh, he's a fishing YouTuber. He's actually, like, one of the first fishing YouTubers I ever watched. He inspired me heavily, like, way back in the days. One of the people that really got me into starting to do this stuff. He actually came out with his own soft plastics uh, with the company, and he sent me some. He sent me a whole package. Like, look at all these, man. <laughs> Thank you, Leo. I would be putting a lot of these to use. We got different colors on deck. He also included something really nice in the package for my birthday. I really appreciate it, man, if you're watching this. We're actually gonna make a video with that. You guys will see. Let me open these up real quick. So these are a tiny one inch paddle tail. I don't even know if you can really see that too well. Super freaking tiny, man. All right, look at that. Very small, very finessey. Starting with the black. Um, oh, what the heck is that? freaking spider dude oh no it's just one of those big ants what's with those ants man they're like intrusive oh yeah oh my gosh dude, there's a bass right there let's see if we can get it first cast there's a lot of stuff looking at it nice thing is too we have a bunch of different colors so if black's not really you know on the menu right now we got some options. I wanna catch that guy. I'm not gonna be eating that guy. There's a fish. There's a fish. <laughs> okay. Oh, dude. Okay, no, yeah, no. I think this dude it's gonna be on the menu, man. This is the thing I love about creek fishing and just fishing in general. Like, you literally never know what you're gonna get. These dudes, oh gosh, look at that, right in the side of its mouth. These dudes are actually in here like crazy. I don't know what happened to this section of this creek, but this year when I've been here, it's just been absolutely loaded. Let me get in the sun, because these dudes got some crazy colors on them right there. Look at this, beautiful red breast sunfish. These things are just all over the place, so I don't feel too bad eating them. And also, I mean, last what I had, it tasted pretty good, dude. But as I said, I want to cook this the right way. We're going to take the... You'll, you'll see. All right, we just put them out. First fish on the bed today. Oh, my gosh. He smacked that, man. Oh, would you look at that. Got like a nice little Rolex on the ground right there. Right, I think, honestly, one more of those would be like food, food... So cool looking over here. Oh, what is that? Wait, what is that? Kind of looks like a little trout, but I know it's not. A... a fish? Oh yeah, right when I hit the water. Oh, there he goes. There's a little uh, smaller red breast. It's pretty wild to me just 
like watching these leaves fall right here. I don't know, dude. Fall is a coven. Fall might low key be my favorite seat. Ooh, I just got smacked. I just love fall, man. Oh, there we go. Smack the crap out of that. That's a good one too. Dude, these guys, <laughs> they're so aggressive, man. That's one of the things I'm kind of curious to see too. Like these guys are so heavily populated in here. I wonder if that's bad for other species just because how aggressive they are. I wonder if they take food from a lot of different things. I don't know. There we go though, man. Beautiful freaking fish. We're gonna let that guy go. He's a little small. Besides fishing in the fall, which is usually pretty awesome. I mean, the weather and everything. The freaking vibes though, man. I'm telling you, just give me some apple cider. Some apple cider donuts too. I'm a happy guy. Oh my God, I just almost died. Life started to get pretty exciting. So if you guys have been following the videos, you know that Kelsey and I literally tomorrow, after as I'm filming this video, we're leaving tomorrow back out on the RV. If you're new here, if you haven't been around the channel for a while, my fiance and I bought an RV and that's where we live full time. Right now though, we're actually living with my parents back in Delaware. We were on the road for like over six months, went all the way out to the west coast, did a lot of cool fishing. We then took some time though to come back to the east coast, um, be in Delaware for a while, see family, see friends, do fishing around here a little bit. You know, that's where I grew up, so I got a lot of these spots that are meaningful to me. We also went to iCast. Anyway, I am so freaking excited, man, to get back out on the road. Fishing challenges, catching cooks, just everything, man. I am literally so excited. I'm just happy, man. Very fortunate to be able to do this and really none of it would be possible without you guys so i appreciate y'all for watching these videos hitting that thumbs up button which by the way if you didn't hit the thumbs up button yet please make sure to go down there you know if you're enjoying this smack the crap out of that thumbs up button we just got hooked the heck up with a bunch of rods and reels and uh i'm gonna be giving a lot of stuff to you guys and it's just a good time man fall time is always this is a vibe as i said Ooh. Something about this creek, specifically. I, I, dude, I just love this place. Oh, oh, there he is. There he is. Let's not drag a tiny bit. There he is. <laughs> Let's go, dude. Oh my gosh. This might be one of those ones I actually saw. Come here. Yeah, yeah. Don't break my line. Woo. Right in the top little side of the mouth right there. Boom. Yes, sir. All right. Second species of the day. Beautiful. Little largemouth bass right there, man. So cool. As I said, I mean, you never know what you can catch out of the creek. These guys seemed a little spookish, I think because the water's so clear, but that's really cool, man. He's like pretty chubby, this creek too. Let me go put him back. Oh yeah. Thank you so much, buddy. Yeah, let's put him right here. Whew. Darts right back in there. Love me, oh, love me some multi-species action. By the way, I read like all my comments. I try to respond to as many DMs and comments I get. It's just really, really hard, but there always are those people. I think they're new to the channel um, or they just see those kind of videos, but there's always that one person that's like, oh, all you catch is the small fish, man. I do love these some small fish. The bluegill buffet action, the red breast, uh, red breast rodeo. <laughs> I don't know. I think this is the year I've caught the most big fish like ever. We caught a six foot alligator gar in Texas, eight foot, just about sturgeon in Oregon, or no, that was Washington. We caught some giant trout, somewhere probably close to five pounds. I'm sure that one uh, brown trout we caught, that thing had to be, I don't even know how much that weighed. That was a, dude, we've caught some freaking, I mean, especially the redfish. I don't know, dude, we, 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 just the multi-species stuff, man. It's, it's got my heart. Whew, all right, so hey, man, I gotta be honest. There comes a time, oh, these worms are not doing so hot. There comes a time, throwing a night crawler is a good option. I think that a lot of these fish in here are spooked. I switched those colors up a little bit, but it's just so shallow and I think they're just so spooky. So 
I guess these are kind of zombie worms now, but we're going to throw this in here. I mean, y'all know, man, when it comes to night crawlers, anything is possible. If we could just get like one more fish. She's in the same jig head too. All right, those zombie worms, we're getting it done. I just dug up this little lively dude right here. All right, this should do a little bit better here. Let's see. Throw it right there. I got a fish. All right, um, I think that is the third right species of the day. Ow, pointy, ow, little bluegill. The bluegill buffet is in full effect. There's a tiny dude though. What's that? Wait, what is that? It's a new species again. Wipe the hand. Come here, buddy. <laughs> What's that, fourth, fifth? I can't even keep track. Chill, 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 chill. Two seconds, man. These guys always make such a weird sucking sound. I believe, let me know if I'm right. I think that is a fall fish. That's pretty cool, man. Little dots on his tail right there. Super cool fish. Let him go right there. Those dudes, I recognized, uh, they did not want that swim bait. Now the night crawl is out, they're all acting different. We got, ow freaking stab me professional catching cooker sometimes when you're out here you just gotta take what you can get i think the fishing guy sent me a message this is the fish that should just catch and cook we're gonna be doing it like uh like we're gonna do this good man so welcome to my secret oasis we got a little waterfall right here hopefully it's not too too loud but I think this is a pretty cool little spot man all right so what i'm gonna do differently this time is we're gonna actually fillet the fish instead of just uh, cleaning out the guts. So let me do that real quick. We don't have that much fish today, so quality over quantity. And that comes down to first, the filet job. Look at this. That's actually pretty good, dude. I mean, it's not gonna be the most fish, but as I said, we're going for the quality here today. All right, man, there are some big old freaking ants around here, I'll tell you that. So we now have boneless, skinless, uh, scaleless filet of red breast sunfish. So we're gonna fire up this pan, brought some stuff to cook it. I'm telling you, man. Gordon Ramsay, better watch out. All right, so we just lit this burner up. I don't know if I cut it on camera. My card ran out of space. But we have right here in this little bottle, hello. This is just some oil, so we're gonna put this into Hold on, let me actually turn this down a little bit. Last time it was like splattering. Oh geez, up oh, still too hot. The thing is too, if you have any kind of water in there, oil and water do not like each other and you are going to get splattered with some fiery oil. We have some flour. In this one, I just have a bunch of spices. Real quick, we're gonna get the flour, we're gonna mix it with our spices. We're just gonna go ahead. There we go. We got an egg right there oh gosh oil's getting too hot just do a little one of these get it all eggy all right y'all here we go so we got the egg these are our fish put those in the egg give them a little squishing splashing around then immediately after that grab these dudes into the flour we're gonna do it twice actually get it super crispy boom oh it actually looks good already all right into the egg I'm about to freaking fry one of these big ants that are crawling over me and pull them into flour. And just like that, we're good. All right, this is the moment. Skirt. How cool is this, man? Caught the fish right over there. Got a nice little waterfall. It's a vibe, man. Just like, look, it, this is so cool. Oh yeah, over here. That's looking freaking bomb. This is my favorite part. All right, so they're done cooking. We kind of took them out of the oil a little bit just so they'd like kind of dry and crisp up a little bit. We want some toasty, crispy, hot, flaky red breast sunfish this is going to be like the real test i just said last time when we did this did not exactly go as well chef first date was a little rusty still a little rusty but even the greats had to start somewhere remember that man 
motivational first date. <sighs> One more look. Look at that. Look at that. All right, we're gonna take this piece. Oh, toasty. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hello? This is like straight. Oh gosh. This looks like a dang chicken tender, man. A good one at that. Oh, it's hot though. I kinda wanna take a bite though. All right. Whew. Red breast sunfish. Ow. Going in. Oh my God. We did that, man. We said we were going for quality. The only thing that can make it a little bit better. A little salt bay action. I freaking love me some lemon. All right. That's it. Shepherd State is back on the course for greatness. Oh my God. Dude. Please let me know what else you guys want to see me cook and what other kind of recipes. I want to experiment and also that, I can I just say that's freaking fire, dude. Come out here, say you catch like four, five, throw that and some tacos or just eat them like that. I wish, the only thing I wish I had was some hot sauce, especially with the lemon. It'd probably be freaking extra fire, but this is an awesome day. If you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to go down there. I'm hungry, I'm gonna eat this. Hit that thumbs up. Button. It really does help out the channel and it uh, really does mean a lot to me and also if you aren't already and you do enjoy the videos Make sure to go down there hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell as I said, we're gonna be uh Going on a trip. I'm so excited man. So I'm gonna keep fishing around here I don't know if I'm gonna film it or not, but either way man. Thank you guys so much for all the support I guess so let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video you wanna know just where